So now I'd like to start looking at um, the image that we have grabbed. So I'm gonna, we're gonna start working on stretch enhancement and a natural color composite. So I'm gonna copy that to the, uh, that snippet. And uh, so we're on this section, and then I'm gonna go to the script and paste it in. And the first thing you're gonna do is an import a, a tools module I have that's gonna allow us to draw the histogram. And um, I'm gonna leave that make histogram as, as the kind of the comment here, but then when it says var histogram, I'm gonna uncomment that. So this should be set up um, so that it's gonna make something called histogram. It's gonna, it's gonna use this tool from our image tools um, to, uh, to grab, to, uh, that takes these inputs. Okay, so it takes, the year 1984 and i'm assuming that you followed my naming convention so we're taking this image collection right because the output was an image collection and we're going to grab the first image in that image collection and then we're going to ask to display b3 to start so this is the the third band it should be the red band um right and so when we go to here b3 it's the red surface reflectance and I'm asking to, it to display the data values. I'm gonna say that the, um, the resolution that would, I'd like to work at is 30 meters. So, um, because that's the resolution of the, um, of the image that we're working with. And then we're gonna display it from zero um, to 0 0.5, which just means that the X axis is gonna go from zero to 0 0.5. And then let's go ahead and uncomment this. And you probably won't have that. I'll get rid of that little thing before you um, get access to this code. So anyway, I have removed the comment for print and it's gonna print the year three, um, 1984, 1981st with the band names and then the histogram. So if I hit run here, it should now run and over here, it's gonna work on it and say generating a chart. And it's giving me, okay, for year three, for 1984, that is my image collection. I've got 19 bands and I've, um, I'm have i showing uh, the histogram for band three in the first image in the image collection. And then if I go to this, I can say, okay, this looks like it's gonna go, you know, maybe we'll start at 0 0.05 as, you know, the idea here is we need to figure out how to do our stretch enhancement. And I don't need to, I'm not gonna be totally exact. It just doesn't seem like we have to start at zero. It seems like we could start at 0 0.05 and it seems like we could end it at 0 0.2. Is that fair? So then I'm gonna go over to here and say, all right, I need to define my viz parameters. And I'm going to create my curly brackets because I'm going to write a dictionary here. I'm going to put my equal sign in there. So my viz parameters is going to be a little dictionary. And my dictionary is going to take a minimum value. And so my minimum value I just said was 0 0.05. My maximum value is going to be um, 0 0.2. Is that what we decided on by looking at this? Yeah, 0 0.2. And uh, it's not my Mac, it's my Max. And then my um, bands, I'm gonna basically, rather than selecting the uh, bands in the image. Um, so right now I have, I have all of these bands in the image and I'm just gonna tell it, please look at SR um, underscore B3. Uh, when you use this viz parameter. Is that fair? And so um, I am going to say, okay, now let's go on and I'm going to do a natural color composite. So I'm going to use the red channel to display the red band. And I'm going to use the green channel to display the surface reflectance in the green part of the spectrum. So that's SRB2. So now let's kind of go through this again and change this from B3 to B2 and run it. And I'm gonna just, cause you can get overwhelmed by the charts. I'm gonna close that tab and then look at this. And so again, there's that little 
um, Doinker in the top right there. And again, I can probably get away here with 0 0.05 and 0 0.2. But just to show you how this, you can specify the min and max range for each uh, band, I'm going to say, okay, I think I'm again going to do this. Um, and this is going to be for SRB3. And I'm going to put each of these into a list. And I'm going to have a comma follow the first and the second list. And it should be happy. So this, what we're doing here is we're starting to define min and max ranges for each band. In this case, they're the same. Um, but um, if we were really picky, we could probably change that to uh, 0.075 um, and give it a slight nudge. Why don't we just go ahead and do that just so that you can appreciate. Uh, uh, is that right? I think that's correct. I think that's going to basically put it right there. Um, even 0 0.8. Yeah, so that is that fair? So we're kind of uh, really customizing our stretch enhancement for each band. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do, because we're, again, we're doing an RGB composite. So I'm going to close that tab, but look at the collection again. So we want to use the blue color channel to represent the reflectance in the blue part of the spectrum, which is SRB1. So the last thing is if I say, okay, give me SRB1. Um, and here it is. So here we again could be a little bit, uh, probably the last one is 0 0.7. I might just leave it at 0 0.05. And then we probably don't need to go as high here. We could say, let's make it 0 0.15 rather than 0 0.2. So I'm going to change this one to 0 0.05, and I'm going to change this one to 0 0.15. Is that all right? And then I'm going to say, oh, sorry, just kidding. That should have been B2. And then this last one is going to be B1. So I've just defined my vis parameters so that I have, um, I'm going to, uh, I have a custom range for each band. And then we can go ahead and add it. If I say map add layer, and we're going to add a layer called year 1984, right? But remember that this is an image collection. So I want to make sure that I'm grabbing the first image in that image collection. And then I can say natviz as my viz parameters. And then I can call this thing the 1984 natural color. And uh, and then I'm going to just do my routine of saying, please don't show this by default. And if I hit run, we should get our image drawn, and we should have a layer here. And if I turn it on, there it is. And you're seeing a little bit of haze, as you kind of would expect. Um, but there is the agricultural fields kind of around the city. And you have the core and the kind of uh, periphery kind of urban area and then the super muddy um, waters so that's what we got a bit of haze there but that's uh that's what we got with our kind of color stretch enhancement on our um, on our satellite image um, looking at it in natural color is that okay so i'm gonna hit save and move on